Hey YouTube, I took a bunch of preliminary videos that I endeavored to make into a fancy collage of unboxing and everything. But spin is real. I ordered mine December 16th, 2016. I've been using it daily for about three weeks. Uh, I like it. It makes an 85% good espresso and 85% good cup of coffee. It does a lot of things. I don't think it does any of them amazingly. Um, a couple of questions I had that I didn't know. When it spins out the excess water in the grounds to make them dry, it drops it in this drip tray, which comes out and has to be emptied out periodically. This is where the grounds go and they are pretty dry. It's pretty slick. And then the water thing is in the back and the way that attaches is also pretty slick. A little disappointed at how often you have to do something. Make like three cups of coffee and either the drip tray is full, the grounds thing is full or it needs more water. So that's a tiny bit annoying, not the end of the world. Uh, one other issue that the, um, the angle of the hopper a few times the beans have not fallen down into the grinder and it's made me cups of water and it needs a little shake. Also, I've probably half a dozen times had machine errors. I think my first or second cup of coffee gave me a machine error, but it runs through a little process and fixes itself, so it's not the end of the world. So I like it. Is it amazing? I'm not sure. Is it better than some super automatic espresso machine out there? Well, the fact that I got it for 400 bucks, I think it probably is. Um, yeah, I'm actually not thirsty to drink one because it's late at night. But I will show an espresso and then we'll call it quits for this video. The reason I'm making this is just because I was looking at YouTube saying, boy, if these beta testers had spins, you'd think they'd put it on YouTube and nobody had. Anyway, so this is my short, lazy, no editing video. I don't know if I'll ever get around to making a proper unboxing one with all the footage I got the first day. So that first noise, I don't know what that noise was. Now it's heating water is what I think is going on. If you're making cup after cup, it's like it heats extra water, and so the second cup actually goes a little faster than the first cup. Yep, so sorry for the wait, but you can see how long it takes. It takes a little bit. There's lots of dialing on the recipes that I haven't done, uh, but it could get better. Another annoying thing, I roast my own coffee or even if you bought your coffee at the grocery store. Uh, if you're not buying coffee through their marketplace, it's constantly harassing you to select a coffee that you put in so it can download its recipes. And it, it annoys you like every time you make a cup of coffee or at least once a day with that message trying to get you to use their spin marketplace. I had $100 in coffee credits. Okay, there's a grinding. It's going to start spinning. Anyway, yeah, the coffee credits thing on the marketplace has gone well. I bought some from Fargo, which is funny because it's only 30 minutes away. I could pick that up, silly paying shipping. And I bought some other that was on sale. I forget where it came from. So you can see it's got a good crema on it. And it's very stout. I am not an espresso aficionado. I do have a nice single group espresso machine in the basement in cellophane that I hope to get plumbed in eventually so I can do a side-by-side -side comparison. Anyway, that's my spin review in a nutshell. I hope all of you get yours soon, but I am just a normal dude who ordered in December 2016 and it did come. The packaging was awesome. The whole experience is pretty darn good.